Because I've always wanted to be president of something, and the General Assembly will <laughs> But quite seriously, ladies and gentlemen, what I'd like to do at this time is to ask uh, Mr. Obana, Chief uh, of the S Sustainable Consumption and Protection Branch, to offer you a special word of welcome on behalf of the United Nations. Mr. Obana, you have the floor, sir. I dismiss Mr. Brown. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, and dear colleagues. First of all, I would like to take this opportunity to thank the Global Forum on Human Settlement for organizing and hosting this forum and reception and dinner and awards. Good evening. Thank you. Uh, Your Excellency, Your Under Secretary General, Mr. Sheikh Naira, Honorable Ambassadors, Delegates, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. United Nations is giving an increasing attention to that. They are putting it very high on their agenda, and we count very much on your support to be able to advance on this issue and demonstrate how the cities can be drivers to sustainable development. And thank you. More people will live in cities in almost any other human aggregation ever in history. <coughs> Beacons of hope, place of learning, scholarship, aesthetic, elegance, design, and art, or with the cesspools of horror and misery. We have a choice. And we will strengthen international exchanges and cooperation. Coming to our forum. I thank you for those thoughtful remarks. Uh, you're not well known in this room, but those of us who know you, sir, cannot be, help but be impressed by the leadership, the quiet leadership you are providing to this very complicated subject. Thank you. seven in the news, unless, of course, <laughs> there is a disaster or some other serious problems of squalor and crime. But human settlements are extremely vital to the human future, and people like Hai Feng are spreading the message that we should care and we should design and build differently. Unlike me, but he's from a country. <laughs> he's from a country that's building more cities than almost any other country in the world. And I've spoken to some of the designers, and China is determined to do it right. Yes. Yes. I hope he will cooperate with the Habitat and Human Settlement Center so that we can move this agenda forward to a more prosperous, sustainable, and hopeful human future. Thank you, I think. Uh, to support the negotiations, the intergovernmental negotiations to come to uh, a new agreement or new agreements on climate change, the UNFCCC process. Um, over the last couple of years, he's also been extremely engaged throughout the world to raise awareness about the issues in many, many different ways. Uh, by, by making speeches, by traveling to places where he could demonstrate the, the issues of climate change. For example, two years ago he was up on the North Pole uh, in the Arctic area to, to demonstrate how thin the ice is. And uh, before that he was in the Amazon region and in the dry regions just to demonstrate how important those issues are. Emissions are rising, uh, the global emissions continue to rise. 
the impacts are happening earlier than we thought, and the interactions of the impacts with other issues are now becoming also uh, clear. And that's exactly what is happening now as we're preparing for the so-called Rio Plus 20 conference next June, uh, and that's exactly what's happening in the context of this high-level panel on global sustainability. The Secretary General set up this high-level panel so that he can get advice from some very well-known high-level politicians and, and others about how to make sustainability work and how to implement it in practice. Because everybody agrees that while the basic concepts of sustainable development that have been with us for many years now are fine, but there is a real problem of implementation. The United Nations is very directly and properly involved in that question. So thank you very much, sir. I'd like to begin the award ceremony. And for this ceremony, there's some good news and some bad news. The bad news is, I will not be moderating this session. <laughs> to, your, to your relief, that's that is that. The good, the good news is, we have two excellent moderators. Mr. Wang Dui and Miss Angel Duke of International Business Consultant and Intelligent Personality. Would you come to the podium, please, and take over this session? Thank you. <laughs> uh, this means to build a low carbon city and to combat against the climate changes. Thank you, thank you. A very strong message.